Hello ladies and gentlemen, and it looks like Halo and 343 is finally getting back on track with the winter update. 343 has been releasing a lot of info about the winter update and subsequent blog posts. So far we've had match XP beta progression, as well as the new playlist schedule that will be coming with the update. I do have some negatives to go over with the playlist schedule. And of course, the beta system for match XP and progression is still kind of whack. And it took, you know, a year to get here. But let's just go over it super quick for you all. 343 says that it's excited to take the first major step towards evolving Halo Infinite's player progression experience and are bringing on match XP. This includes XP for completing matches and additional XP for your performance in the match such as winning, the end of match placement, and more. They say that they're going to call it a beta because they're going to be monitoring the values for each reward category and adjusting them as they move forwards. But like, really, why do you need to put the beta on there? Other games just change stuff. You know, it's not a beta, but oh well. Next up, we got challenges, and this is probably, the, you know, the highlight of this blog post. They say that the completion of challenges will provide some XP still, but they will now primarily serve as the path towards earning customization items each week through the ultimate reward. So they're reducing the number of challenges required to hit that reward from 20 to 10. Fantastic. All challenges in regular weekly decks can be completed in any playlist, so I can keep playing BTB and not be sad. And challenges are more general overall. They do say that event challenges challenges will remain in their current form tied to event playlists, which I think is fine. They then say that they're still continuing to work on career progression and that they will have more to share on that in the future. The next post was about the playlist schedule for the winter update, and I'm kind of on the fence about this. There will be a permanent playlist and a rotating playlist selection. The permanent playlist includes quick play, big team battle, ranked arena, fiesta, tactical slayer, and team slayer while the rotational playlist will have a core slot and a social slot. The core being Team Snipers, Team Doubles, and the social one would be like Kong Slayer, Purple Rain, and Rock in Repulsors, which is eh, I don't know. They'll also have a rotational rank slot, which I don't like that it's rotational. And of course, an event playlist. They then provide two months worth of the playlist schedules for November and December. And of course, it is subject to change. So that's where we're at with the updates. I would love to know how you all feel about it. Let me know in the comments down below if 343 is finally back on track. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace!